Hey everyone, welcome back to QuantProf. Today we are going to solve an SIG quant interview problem. Check the description for more quant interview resources. We have an 8 cross 8 grid. Alice and Bob take turns placing knights on the grid. For example, Alice can place the first knight here. Bob must then place a knight on a square where no knight has been placed, and that isn't attacked by any previously placed knight. So, Bob cannot place a knight on any of the blue squares. Suppose Bob places a knight on this square, then Alice must place a knight on a square where no knight has been placed, and that isn't attacked by any previously placed knight, and the game continues in this manner. The player who cannot place a knight loses. So if Alice goes first, who has a winning strategy under optimal play? Here's the solution. Bob has a winning strategy. Consider this green line. Suppose Alice places a knight on this square. Bob can respond by placing a knight on the square that is the mirror image across the green line. Since these knights lie on the same column, they cannot attack each other. At any point during the game, when it's Alice's turn, the board will be symmetrical across the green line. If Alice can place a knight on one side, then Bob can always respond by placing a knight on the mirrored square on the other side. So, Bob will always have a response, and hence, Bob has a winning strategy. Let's consider a follow-up problem. What if we play the same game on a 9 cross 9 board, but with kings instead of knights? In that case, who has the winning strategy? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course, Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory, specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.